Professors is brought to you by Trollentoad.com, MTGMintCard.com, CardHoder.com, and Jiffy's Photo and Baseball Cards. Shards of Alara is here and known, and it looks extremely tasty, so have your mouse on the order button at Trollentoad.com, MTGMintCard.com, and CardHoder.com, or support the show and head on down to Jiffy's Photo and Baseball Cards today. Magic cards, I use oils. Um, I also do digital work, but um, for magic, it's strictly oils. Sometimes I use uh, acrylic paint, and when I'm feeling lazy, I use <laughs> I use the uh, the computer. Uh, usually, you uh, use acrylic gouache, which is kind of an opaque uh, form of watercolor. I'm all for it. I mean, I've done a few, couple pieces uh, uh, digitally. Uh, often, like, you know, the convenience is that the fact that you can turn things in faster. Uh, you can modify them a little bit easier. Uh, disadvantages is, of course, you know, you don't have an original, like, um, piece of artwork to, uh, to show or to sell. Unless you have a, a big monitor that you, you lug around with you. Really, I don't, I don't see much difference in the two. That kind of uh, allows you to stretch your imagination even more because you can do all kinds of cinematic effects and um, and uh, you can even duplicate uh, traditional media uh, mediums like oils and uh, acrylic and watercolor and anything really I got started actually with Dungeons and Dragons I just basically um, sent my portfolio to them and uh, they hired me to do some work for their magazines for Dungeons and Dragons uh, magazine and was doing work for their modules and uh, Wizards was pretty much the same thing. It's it's really uh, the art speaks for itself. Well, I was always like you know drawing monsters and, and spaceships and creatures like when I was in uh, even grade school, um, and even when I went to graduate school and I was doing quote unquote more serious work, um, even in my sketchbook there was still like you know. Uh, you know, a reference to Star Trek or, or something else, and then the, the professors were always like, you know, what's this? It's like, oh, it's, it's nothing. And um, and then later when I went to Seattle, uh, started to work for Wizards of the Coast. I got started working for Wizards out of luck, really. Um, I did some work in college for uh, a very nice lady named Maria at a small company in Chicago, and. As luck would have it, years later she was the art director for Magic and she hooked me up with um, the people who were doing the vampire game. That was the first work I did for Wizards and then there was like a three year period in between where I still sucked too much to do Magic art and uh, after a lot of hard work and persistence and bothering people I finally uh, got them to relent and, and, and let me do some Magic art. Just develop a portfolio, you know, look around and see what your competition is. Don't get too bummed out when they tell you you suck. I stunk for a long time, um, but I knew what I wanted and I kept working at it. Constantly keep your keep your hand in, uh, in whatever like medium you like to work in. Yeah. The main thing is always just practice, practice, practice. There are things about it that I think are better, and at the same time there, there's some you know, undefinable raw qualities that it doesn't have anymore that I miss, but you know, that's the road. I guess a little more detailed, I mean, even the, the, some of the stuff I was starting to do at the, um, at the beginning of, um, of Magic was relatively small and, and un undetailed because the, the scanners were relatively limited. Uh, now they can accept like any artwork of any size, so often I'll I'll take the time and, and do more detailed work. Just gotten better. I've learned from a lot of great artists. Um, I, I worked at, at a TSR with uh, lots of great artists, uh, Rob Ruppel and Jeff Easley and, and uh, Brom uh, wasn't there, but he was in the area. I learned a lot from him and later on from uh, Donato Giancola, who's you know one of the top guys out there. So um, 
it helps to learn from other artists and uh, pick up little tricks and little way, different ways of doing things and um, skin tones, anatomy, you know, you just learn, you, you never stop learning. So um, I even still go out and take classes any chance that I can. I used to be a mind stab throw because it came out exactly the way I wanted it to. Um, but uh, Supreme is it Supreme Exemplar? I think it is. Um, is is one that uh, um, that came out pretty close to the way I like it. So I guess that's a recent favorite. Recently, I did uh, Noggin Whack, which was fun because <laughs> there's a fish tied to a brick. I mean, <laughs> I'm a big fisherman, so that was a lot of fun. But. Uh, no, you know, I like doing I like doing uh, creatures and monsters and dragons and things like that. So any any card that has uh, any of those elements in it are always fun for me. I don't have a favorite. Can't, I, I can't say. I can't say. Thank you.